Hey guys, Burger here, and I'm here with another episode of Fallout New Vegas Modded Hardcore. In this series, I will play as a Silver Tongue Psycho, which means I'm nice and likable, but I also eat people. A few things to note, several in fact. One, I now refer to myself as Burger to make it more convenient for the people watching my videos that I refer to myself as my username. That's a little convenient, I would think. Two, I no longer am dressing like a raider. We are no longer the raider gang known as the Savage Cabbages. I'm now dressing as a super Silver Tongue Psycho would dress, which is an outfit like this. Is that how I'd imagine a Silver Tongue Psycho dressing? And finally, I spent an hour trying to <laughs> fix a problem with Niner, only to realize that there was no problem in the first place. So yeah, time wasted. Time wasted indubitably. So now the last thing to do is the episode. It's time to start the episode. So today I'm going to be working on Project Ultimatum. Project Ultimatum, you say? What's that? Well, it's something that really helps with the stealth aspect of the game. So the first thing I need to do is pick my target. I shall be going to this location here to kill all these people. And it's best to do it in the night when nobody can see you. So I'm going to leave all my companions just outside the camp and go in. But there's another thing to note. The mod configuration menu. Project Ultimatum. There is no keys for all this stuff. So I'm just going to start at zero and go back. Zero is whistle. Um. Inject is nine. Swinging knife. Experimental? Eh. Yeah, you, if you uh, aim your weapon at someone, they will get pissed. I'm okay with that. Reactive people. Well, it's enabled, so I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not sure what swing knife means. I'm going to have to look it up. Crier. Surprise them all with your big voice. Eight. I already have a key for pushing people down, and this is presumably pickpocketing. Now this is just similar to the near-death mod. This feature right here, it's similar. So I've got all these means to go and... Do stuff. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, right, 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 right. Yes, I'm going to attack the people at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now, I need to find a campfire. Oh, wait. Uh, you can start a campfire, right? Yes. Yes. So are they, like, underground? Oh, don't. Well, looks like that doesn't work Do very well. Something? Yeah. I didn't cook anything. We don't have what I need. Cook at campfire. Hmm. Now, what is the thing you can inject into people? Well, it's not aid. Chems? Food. It's not under food. I'm sure of that. Misc, maybe? Narcotic. This is what you inject into people. I'm pretty sure. Don't have enough science. 
Okay. So I can't do that. Let's clean up this campfire. It recommends doing that in this mod. I suppose the only thing left to do now is sneak down there and kill them with my uh, Gladius. Oh, you know what'll help me? Let's go down to Novak, and I'm going to put on some Legion armor. Fine, you can come with. Yeah, let's just go. when the standing around was getting exciting. I can't keep you guys behind. I like you guys. Did you just bend down and pick something up? Wait, is this mod not installed? Ah, crap. One second, please. All right, here I am, all prepared. Now, to review. Let's go into mod configuration to review, for my sake and yours, if you're wondering about this mod. Wait, it got rid of all these keys? Crap. Nine is whistle, which will get their attention. Push someone down is eight. Open their inventory is seven. Injecting them with something is zero. Shout really loud is six. And I don't know what swinging knife is. So I'm just going to leave that off. Whistle to get their attention. Eight to push them down. Seven to open their inventory. And six to shout. Oh, and zero to inject them with a narcotic, which I cannot make because my science is not high enough. Now let's wait till night time. I am wearing a legionary outfit, so they won't get mad at me for killing them. They'll get mad at the legion. Let's quickly grab some grub. Uh, I'm okay with that. Red roach meat. Rebound. Bullet time would be nice. Vegetable flu, uh, vegetable stew. I almost said vegetable poo. Uh, some of that and purified water. A psycho to make sure that they uh, get the damage down nice and quick. Got my quiet weapon that deals also awesome damage. Got my light armor. I'm not sure if that makes a difference, but I'm going to just assume it is. And I've got a couple perks that are very helpful in this scenario. I even turn invisible when I'm slow sneaking. But I've got some distance to cover, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to quick save. Hmm. Just going to get nice and close. I'm not sure this is the best area to attack from. And I'm probably going to have to review what all the buttons do once again, to be perfectly honest. And do I have to kill the officers or everyone? Kill all the officers. So I'd be best for me to just attack as few as possible. Okay, I'm inside. I'm not noticed. Another quick save would be nice. Why does Vanessa keep removing poison? I'm getting concerned for her health.
Why is she following me? Crap. Okay, Should have brought something damn, to read. Right you creature stole me. For you. What the hell? Oh shit. All right. What did she just say? Oh my god. Oh shit. What's up with her? Why is everything moving around in my bottle? Oh my god. Why is she so poisoned? I prefer the stingers on a mercenary theme. They hurt less. Oh shit. What is going on with her? Why is everything moving around in my bottle? Damn, that mutant creature stole me. What the hell is I prefer the stingers on a mercenary theme. I think she might be glitching out a ton. Okay, looks like my Nuka-Cola Quartz wore off. Let's look at my local map really quick. There's one off the close by. Do I have Mr. Sandman? That'd be convenient. What is going on with her? <clears throat> Failed restoring hope. Failed medical mystery. Yeah, I know there's a bunch of quests here, but I've done them before. They're not terribly interesting. Plus, that's what I've got all these mods for. Okay, local map. Who's close by? The left one is relatively close. You know, maybe a beer would be nice for me to drink. Get some strength bonus. So I'm just thinking, there's a bunch of people in here. I might have to fight my way out. Hmm. I've got this. Aid. <laughs> Holy shit, these guys are dumb. These guys are dumb. Combat knife. I mean, I freaking just murdered this person behind this guy's back and he doesn't even care. How many officers are left? One to the right is pretty close. I'm gonna drink a cat eye. Drink, eat, take, take. I'm still invisible. Can't see my hand or weapon. How do stealth boys work, I wonder? I'm highly curious of this fact. This is seriously awesome. 
I think I'm gonna kill the last one in a spectacular way. Get behind them. I think the backslash works from behind. Is that how that works? Last one is still here. Okay, I know how I'm going to kill the last one. They haven't noticed me yet, so I can just switch clothing to my normal outfit. Wait, I'm wearing the Repcon jumpsuit? Gosh darn it. This whole time I've been wearing the Repcon jumpsuit. If I'd gotten caught, I would have been in deep doo-doo. Okay. So, uh, several things. One, I am now invisible. And now let's actually use the abilities that the stealth thing gave me. The project ultimatum you gave me, you know, that'd be nice. Okay, let's do this. Five. And then I'm gonna if I uh let's try reverse pickpocketing. Thief. I don't know how I got it. Caught pickpocketing. Whoa. Whoa. Ha ha, he walked into those. He's not even close to dead, though. Damn it, I didn't use anything. At least I explained it. Aren't I wearing Legion apparel? I'm not. My god, am I dumb. I'm just going to quickly repeat everything I did. Quickly. Let's see, when is this? Okay, I'm going to just quickly redo this. Alright, I got back to where I was. Now let's do this in the funnest way possible. First of all, let's take some cat eye so you can see properly. And next. See, I'm just gonna make this so I can make a quick escape. It's gonna be hilarious. Watch. First, I'll take weapons, fragmine. Two over here. And then I'll put one there. This is just to knock them down. One there. One there. One there. And one there. And now... I always forget how to do the reverse pickpocketing. Damn it. Ah, crap. I did it again. Well, he's about to set off that... Come on! 
I guess they set up all the... Wow. Gee. Golly. That wasn't quite what I expected. And once again, like an idiot, I completely forgot to switch outfits. Wrong one. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. One more try. One more try, I'll give this. So, it looks like I'm bad at pickpocketing. Quite. Wow, sliced the head right off. And whatever. Okay, let's put on the Repcon jumpsuit. Let's go over here before somebody notices he's dead. Or, you know, any of the others. And then they think, well, there's one person in who's been walking around here like they own the place. Hello. Okay. So he's going to come running at me. So I'm invisible. So then let's put on my Legion Recruit Armor. Take out the weapon of choice, the frag mine. You know what? I should be able to take cat eye. I keep forgetting the cat eye. So sorry, viewers. Very sorry about that. I don't have a high explosive skill, so these won't deal a ton of damage. And then Let's quickly look at my mod configuration. Whistle is nine. I thought it was nine, but I didn't want to press the wrong one. Seriously, this guy won't get up. What the hell? Come and get me. Uh, stay. Okay. Weapons. Shitty Gladius. Wow, I'm dead. Okay. New idea. Don't get their attention no matter what. That's my new plan. Don't get their attention no matter what. Darn. Now, if I had the narcotic to inject into people, that would have been fun. But unfortunately, it looks like I just explained the mod today. Maybe I won't even name it this episode of Project Ultimatum. Did I seriously just do that? I'm not gonna name it Project Ultimatum. Or should I? And what else will I name it? Or maybe I'll just name it Changes. Because I changed a bunch of things.
Me oh I know, I'll name it changes. This is name episode name changes. I'm going by a different name now. I changed my look. We're no longer the Savage Cabbages. Um, maybe eventually we'll be the Fancy Lads instead. And I did it without the smallest amount of infamy. Now I can return to Dead Sea. You done being poisoned? Standing around was getting exciting. Might want to take that hat away from uh What's her name? Willow. I think I'd be okay with that. Why do these guys wear slave collars all the time? Like, aren't they part of the Legion? Yes. A glorious victory. You must be very satisfied. Yeah, I did it without death. I'll send word of your achievement. Perhaps Kaisar will see fit to send another Count of Berneum to occupy the camp. Here, take this. My blade. It was a gift from my centurion upon the defeat of the Sundog tribe. <laughs> wow. True to Kaiser. Yeah, am I wearing yep, I'm wearing my Repcon stuff. Do you need something? Yes, give me your hat. Trade. Ha. And your sunglasses. Heavy to carry, don't you? Things are changing now. A major camp in uh, NCR was taken down. That's a big change, wouldn't you say? Another change is my outfit. Another change is what I call myself. Another change is what my character calls her group of people. Lots of things are changing. I can't believe you stuck one of us in that freezer. Oh my god, you're never gonna shut up about that, are you? I don't have to worry about what you'll do to me. I'm not easily annoyed, though. It's just that she says the same thing. Not that she's always talking at bad times. Now let's just go back to Novak, my favorite player home. And have a beautiful night's sleep. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Everybody get in the bed. There's only one bed, so we're all sleeping in it. Good night, cow jumping over the cow jumping over the moon. That's going to be for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!